Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and today I have a slightly different video for you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to dismantle uh, uh, your BlackBerry Pearl 8100 80, but it also works with the 8110 and the 8120. Uh, in a couple of days or possibly weeks I will show you how to do the same thing to an 8500 and maybe, uh, not maybe, in the future also the 9100 but the 9100, uh, 9105 sorry, will be different because I will be turning into a 9100 so it would basically change the keyboard from the 123 to the uh, double tap QWERTY but this video is about dismantling the 8100 so let's get to it Alright, first thing you need to do, uh, take off the back cover, I mean, that's a pretty simple one. Um, obviously take the battery out, memory card and SIM card. And for this you'll need a Torx T6 screwdriver. Uh, so there's two screws up here. So unscrew those. I recommend storing these uh, teeny tiny screws in a pretty safe place. I mean, what I've got in the safe is the best, it's just like a little uh, bowl top. But it's just somewhere to keep them so they don't fall off your desk. So mine over there. Uh, the next ones, guys, are slightly hard to get to. They are underneath this uh, little cover at the bottom. Uh, just get something to ever so slightly clip under there and and push off and you've got to be careful guys because the antenna sticker you got to be careful because the antenna sticker guys is under this uh, green bit see that black bit sorry the green bit here is the antenna so be careful not to rip it otherwise or well, when you put it all back together you won't have a working uh, radio or yeah, you'll have a working radio, but you won't be able to get any signal. And there's two uh, screws here. So get the screws over again. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh, same thing, store them in a safe place. Now the next thing looks kind of complicated, but it's actually incredibly simple. It's taking off these side bits, literally. is If you can get a nail under, and just pop it off, to be honest. I mean, I haven't got nails, look. I bite my nails, which I shouldn't. But, um, and I haven't got nails, and look, it would to be quite easy to get that off. Uh, the next one, again, is, looks rather difficult and quite scary. Uh, in reality, it's quite easy. It's just it's taking the case apart. So just pop these two off that side, and do the same on the other side. Just pop the two, or on that case, yeah. And then look, that's the back cover, guys. So here is the speakerphone. Here are the charging ports for the battery. This is where the microphone would go, but last time I took it apart, I lost it. And obviously, there's the uh, two points for the antenna. Uh, so I'll put that there. And the next bit, guys, is really simple. You lift the logic board out. See? LCD, or uh, the membrane for the uh, keyboard. There's the dome where the trackpad clicks down, so... Yep. Uh, there's the ribbon for the LCD. The camera, SIM, memory card. I'm guessing the CPU is under there. and I'm not taking the heatsink off. Uh, now, well, now you're left with the front fascia, so the you can pop the trackball out from there, and the same with the keyboard. Just push back, and there we go, guys. Look, we have a dismantled uh, 8100. So this is good if uh, you want to change your case. So maybe you really badly like scuffed up. You uh, like me, you broke this clasp here, so the, the back cover doesn't lock on. Or 
uh, maybe you had a massive crack in the LCD, uh, the LCD, the glass in the front, uh, or you broke a clip and it doesn't clip together properly. This is uh, how you take it apart and put it back together. And literally, guys, putting it back together is the opposite. So, put the keyboard in uh, from the back. Hmm. Yeah. And the, fun, the only thing I don't put in in the right order is the trackball. I always put the trackball in last. It's just something I do. It doesn't make a difference, but it's just the way I do it. Then you put the logic board in. Yep. This one's slightly hard because you've got to line everything up. And it might not go right for you first time. So don't force it because, well, obviously, the same way what happens if you force anything, you could break it. Yep, just make sure it's all clipped in around the entire case. One thing to be careful, guys, is the mute button. It might come loose, but uh, don't be scared. Alright, next is putting on the side plates. So make sure you've got the right one. Obviously, it won't fit otherwise. Uh, one, of the, whoa. <laughs> one on either side. Then we do the two front screws which is covered by the uh, operator little cap la da 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 And you can slot this back on, move to the back, then you put uh, these top two screws on, uh, now uh, you pop the trackball in. There you go. And usually you will have a chrome ring that goes around it. Mine snapped in half and just never got around to replacing it. Then you literally just pop that. You like click it in. Make sure it uh, clicks about three or four times with each uh, pin. Turn around to back. Put your SIM card and your memory card in. Your battery in. And then put the back cover on. Uh, that is how you dismantle an 8500, uh, not 8500, sorry, um, an 8100. Um, I offer this as a service, uh, so, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you have broken your fascia, if you provide the fascia, I will fit it for you. But be sure you get it for the right phone. I mean, I had a friend who had an 8100 and he bought a case for something completely different and he was a bit distraught when I told him it wouldn't fit. It was his own fault, if I'm honest, but hey. But yeah, um, uh, drop me an email if you want to... Let me say that again. If you want me to uh, change the fascia off, um, yeah, dismantle your Blackberry to put a new fascia on, uh, I will also change keyboards and trackballs. Uh, drop me an email at, after this video, because that's when I show my email. If you, uh, yeah, you can get me on the website, which is www.mobile-dom.co.uk. You can get me on Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore dom. Uh, you can circle me on G+, which is gplus.to forward slash Domenico Lamberti. And guys, I can't promise you 100% those um, social networks will be 100% based on tech because they are my personal account. Uh, I also do um, personal consultations um, for phones, tablets, I don't know, pets, whatever you want. Uh, also now the uh, fascia for the 8100. Uh, later on I will be... Uh, I also... <coughs> pardon me. I also do fascia uh, replacements and repairs for the ZTE blade, but uh, same rule applies. You you have to buy the parts and I'll fit them for you. Um, 
The email address to get in touch with me for that is uh, domenico at mobile-dom.co.uk. Until next time, guys. Peace.